Hi everyone, and welcome to Millennia. So, this is an upcoming 4x strategy game published by Paradox. It's a civilization like, basically. There was a demo available during the Steam Next Fest, and I have a video from like two weeks ago or something like that. And the game is coming out on March the 26th. Now, this video is not going to be a review or anything like that, but I will talk about a few things that are problematic from my point of view. Many of them were already obvious in the demo, which anyone could play. So this is not some groundbreaking information. With that said, there are also some really interesting ideas in this game, although quite a few of them are actually like pretty much straight from an old civilization spin-off called Call to Power. Some of you might have played it. Some of the concepts in this game are basically the same as in Call to Power. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So here's the first thing that's problematic in this game from my point of view. The nation you pick is basically completely meaningless. It's purely cosmetic. It has literally no impact whatsoever on the game other than like giving you a different flag, changing your nation's name and your city names. That's basically it. The actual uniqueness, if you can call it that, is tied more to national spirits, which you pick as you play, and nothing is stopping you from picking like whatever you want, regardless of which nation you play. So that's problematic from my point of view, because it also means the AI kind of lacks personality, and I do think it will negatively impact replayability. Because, again, if you play Civilization, as I'm sure many of you have, there's no such thing as unique buildings, unique abilities, unique units in this game. Like, there's no such thing in here. So, yeah, without, like, talking about this too much, that's the first most problematic thing from my point of view. And it was one of the first things I noticed when I was playing the demo. Now, you do pick the starting bonus here, and right now, uh, these are all over the place. They are not exactly balanced. Some of them are really strong, like starting with a scud unit is pretty damn good. Some of them are borderline worthless, like getting warfare experience. This is basically worthless. It gives you a little bit of warfare experience, which you can't do anything with. And by the way, the game should really tell you what exactly this bonus does. Yeah, okay, you start with additional improvement points. Tell the player how many points we're talking. Because sure, a completely brand new player isn't going to know what that means exactly. But one, you will get some context once you actually start playing. And when you are not a brand new player, you will obviously know whether that's good or bad. And you might not have all of these like memorized. Not to mention you would have to test every single one to know how much exactly you get. So it's a minor thing, it's mostly like a UI thing. And by the way, there are a lot of small UI issues like this. At least again from my point of view. But I might be a little bit more focused on UI than your average person. Because, well, user experience used to be part of my old job before YouTube. So maybe I noticed these things a bit more, I don't know. Well, either way, we'll play on Pangea. By the way, if you play on islands in this game, you're going to have a bad time. Because you probably won't make contact with anyone for a pretty long time. Which makes some of the mechanics kind of useless. Anyway, we'll play on Pangea. And I think I'll just leave everything else on default here. Yep. Okay, so in case you want to play the exact same game as I do, let's use a map seed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> Why not? That's going to be our seed. Alright, well, let's go then. Okay, here we are. And I will say that visually, this game obviously can't compare to Civilization. Even Civilization 5, which at this point is what? A 13-year-old game? It doesn't look nearly as good as a 13-year-old game 
that it's directly competing with. I'm just saying, you could make an argument that visuals are not the most important part of strategy games, and you would be correct, but they still matter. At least they matter for me. Okay, so for our research, we have a few options here, and we can progress to the next age once we research three technologies. That doesn't mean you can't research all five, but it's generally better to go back and research the missing ones later on because it's going to be much, much faster as your knowledge per turn increases. We could grab uh, defenses to unlock better units if I plan to go to war early. We can get scouting, because that will spawn another scout, and it will also allow us to move through jungle and deep forest. Uh, let's get scouting then. Uh, that sounds good. And uh, we start with a cavalry scout, and with a warband. So we'll just send them in opposite directions. And see what we can find. Oh, and we still have another warband here. Okay. Two warbands. Sounds good. And I think we'll get another scout cavalry. Well, since we started with an extra scout, we could instead build either a dolmen to get some influence for border expansion. And it's also a one-time border expansion when you build it. Or we could get a town center for some government points. Government experience is pretty important. Okay, let's get the government experience. Because with 30 government experience, you can spawn a settler and, you know, go start more cities. So we definitely want to start accumulating that early on. As early as possible, I would say. All right, well, let's explore a bit, see what we can find. That is a lot of resources over here. A tribal camp, we'll pick that up. Plus five knowledge, plus five improvement points. Uh, let's take the knowledge. Faster research is a good thing. Okay, we got some barbarians to the east. Not sure if I want to fight them with a scout. Probably not. So let's send our warband. To help out. Yeah, they will attack. And by the way, this is another thing that I dislike about Millennia. This combat system. Again, this was already part of the demo during Steam Next Fest. So it's not exactly groundbreaking information. And it took me a while to really figure out what about this bothers me so much. Other than like the obvious. And uh, I know what bothers me so much. I've seen a similar system 30 years ago. Not exactly the same, but it was the same kind of concept. The only thing you controlled was whether to initiate combat or not, and uh, with what units. And then you got this short 5 to 10 second cutscene that showed you two units attacking each other, and that was it. Except that this was 30 years ago, and it was executed way better than it is in this game. That was a game called Battle Idol 2, in this case. Maybe some of you have played it. It was one of the games in a whole series of games, but this particular one is the one I played the most, and it also came out in 1994, which was roughly the time when CDs became a thing. So, it was one of like the early games on uh, CDs. And uh, it was a pretty big leap forward compared to the previous games in that series. Either way, my point is that that game came out in 1994, so literally 30 years ago, and uh, it did a similar thing with combat, but it did it better. It did it better in 1994, like straight up. There isn't even like any combat music in here. You could have like some catchy combat music or whatever, like you could have camera moving around a bit. I don't know, you could make it a more cinematic experience, is what I'm saying. Because in that game, it was a more cinematic experience in like 5 to 10 seconds 30 years ago. And it just bothers me so much. Now, obviously, that's more of a personal thing. But from my point of view, the way combat works in this game, like this cutscene, you get shown, it doesn't add anything. It lacks personality, like it doesn't even have any catchy music. It's just completely unnecessary. 
It would be better to just turn it off, but it's not an option to turn it off, as far as I'm aware. You cannot turn it off. Here are all the options, all the game options. So you cannot actually turn it off. And if you could, I would actually just straight up turn it off. Because I don't think it actually adds anything. Uh, this is not it. While checked, the combat viewer plays automatically when the combat starts. When unchecked, you can step through each combat action manually. Yes, yeah, so like that will not turn it off. In fact, this is a faster way to go for it. Anyway, I think you get the point. It just doesn't really add anything to the game. I would prefer if the game handled it the way civilization does. Just have an animation of the units hitting each other on the actual map and that's it. And show you the outcome. Like that combat window doesn't really add anything exciting or interesting. Obviously, again, that's just my opinion. You might have a different one, but that's mine. Alright, well, we might want to finish them off. Let's wait for them here inside our border. And we can look around a bit more. Okay, that's another uh, tribal camp. We can check that out. Yep, yeah, they're attacking again. And the fastest way you can skip it is, okay, like two seconds perhaps? Something like that. Uh, roughly two seconds. That's probably what I will find myself doing. Especially since later on in the game, you can get multiple combats per turn. You can already get like several combats per turn early on. But later on you can easily get like 10 combats in one turn. So it can get a bit annoying. Alright, let's get exploration experience because with 20 we can spawn another scout. For free, quote unquote. And yeah, we will explore our general surroundings first and then go further out. Here's scouting. And then we could pick up defenses for some better units. It's not a bad idea. Okay, yeah, let's get defenses. Because we don't know what we might have to deal with. Here's another uh, tribal camp. Uh, let's move away from these barbarians. I will keep my war bands close to my actual city. They are no scouts, they are defenses. And now we maxed out our culture, which means I have to use my culture power. And in this case, we can use it to create a town. Probably over here, because we have a lot of resources in that area. So this seems like the best spot right now. And eventually our border will expand in this direction. And we can also spend our government experience. Now I could just save up 30 to get that scout out ASAP. Which is what I might do. Because, I mean settler. Because with 30 we can spawn a settler and start another city. So I think that might be best. Is there a unit here? No? Yes, actually there is. Okay, that's fine. I might need my actual warband over there. This unit should be showing, like on the map, like it does in, say, Solization. Because there was an icon, but there's like no actual unit that's showing. Anyway, here's another cavalry scout. We can send it north or south. Let's go north then. I think that might be the coast to the north. Kind of looks that way. Yeah, see, so there's an icon, but you can't actually see like a unit on the actual map. So we'll send the warband. Okay, here's a town that probably belongs to the AI. Or it could be a neutral city. Okay, another tribal camp. We'll grab that. Okay, more barbarians. Might be best to join up with the other warband. Just create one army. You can have up to three units in one army. Yeah, let's not fight with the scout, but I want to take a look around. Yeah, so this is neutral. What do we have here? Okay, ten more exploration experience and then we can get another scout. There you go. And we can send this one southeast. Sounds good to me. You can go southeast. This is a promising spot too. Yep. Alright. More combat. 
You can't even like skip to the end instantly. You have to wait for this animation to end. You could say like that's not a big deal. Oh, that's like one second. Not a big deal. Trust me, it is a big deal if you end up playing the game for let's say a thousand hours. It's small things like this that end up wasting a lot of your time. That's my perspective at least. That's the difference between a game you play for 5 hours, 50 hours and 500 hours. You probably don't care about like small things like this if you play for 10, 20 or even 50. You certainly will if you play for a thousand hours. Alright, so we got an archer. We can also join up uh, and create an army here. So yeah, let's just do that. They will have a better chance of survival. And by the way, a lot of combat in this game is based on like rock, paper, scissors basically. Various unit types counter other unit types and they counter them pretty damn hard. Yeah, they counter them really, really hard sometimes. Okay, undiscovered. We can check that out. Let's maybe go northeast, east ish. Here's more research. And then one more take, and we can start Age of Bronze. I'm thinking probably tribal elders to get the council. We could also get workers to get plus eight improvement points, which is not much later on, but right at the start of the game, it's not an insignificant amount. So let's actually get that. There we go. Our border expanded. Very nice. And they attacked again. Yeah, so you have to wait for this animation to end and then it skips to the end. Alright. I don't think I'm going to wait for that archer. Just attack. We should be fine. There's just one dot inside. Obviously that archer would be helpful though. But he's coming. He's coming. Slowly. Alright, let's go. Here's another tribal village. Good. And, right, let's check this out. Right, so we can actually discover this on the next turn. Because it uses the entire turn of the scout. And you can only do that with an actual scout. Okay, more barbarians. I do like that the unit stops automatically when it spots barbarians. Instead of using up its entire move. So that you don't have to move like one tile by one tile. Okay, I might need some help against these guys. I was going to finish off this camp, this barbarian camp. But now I'm not so sure. I think I need to go back and help my city. Yeah, I need to go back. And even more barbarians are coming. Okay, that's a lot of barbarians. A plus 10 government experience. Yes, I want that because we want to get that scout, uh, that settler out ASAP. And with that, we can get a settler out right now. There you go. I might want to go northeast, which means I'll have to handle these barbarians, but we can also go here. We will want some kind of escort for him. Okay, so let's discover the landmark. There we go. Plus 5 exploration experience, plus 10 combat experience. And we discovered a tall mountain. <laughs> okay, that's very specific. Not. Okay, I guess we could go this way. It's not super safe without any escort. But hey, what could possibly go wrong, right? Nothing. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Okay, I can kill this dude because he's almost dead. Did he kill... Oh yeah, they are attacking my city militia. Okay, that's fine. We can finish him off with our scout, I think. Should be easy enough. Go on. Yep, okay, he's dead. Good. But we have a bigger stack coming from the north. Let's send our army to help. The barbarian camp will have to wait, I'm afraid. And we'll start a city, probably somewhere over here. Maybe like here. On the scrubland. Right next to the forest. The forest is actually pretty useful for production. Maybe the best source of production early on. Especially with improvements. Speaking of improvements, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this is how you get improvements. Through improvement points. Alright, we got the town center, now we'll get more government experience. Now we could grab the dolmen, which will expand our border and give us influence. 
does 12 turns. I can't at least speed it up. No, there really no. Okay, you have more expansion, very nice. That is quite a few resources. They are attacking my militia. Maybe my militia can actually handle this. This is just one guy though. There were more coming. Yeah, I need to handle them. Let's finish him off. Now he doesn't stand a chance. Okay. Right, that's the scout. He will not be engaging anything. Just do your thing and the scout. Yep, see? I need an escort for my settler. Let's actually just go back and wait for the escort. I can go east because I'm clearing barbarians on the east side anyway. So, yeah. With 25 warfare we can get some volunteers. Quote unquote volunteers, am I right? Another landmark. I'm not attacking with a scout. Just go and actually scout. We can raise an army with culture powers. I cannot create another town because right now we're capped. The region cannot support another one. So raising an army might be best. We can immediately gain some knowledge. So that's an option too. And uh, we can also boost the regional efficiency. So all resources generated in the region for five turns. This one isn't really worth it right at the start of the game. And it looks like I'm going to need more units. So let's just spawn an army. Right here. We could even use this army as an escort for this settler. And the settle on the west side after all. That should work. It's a warband and an archer. That shouldn't be a problem for them. Okay, speaking of things that are not a problem. Kill this barbarian. Uh, let's discover the landmark. Uh, right here. There we go. More exploration experience and the more combat experience. Uh, so now, okay, with 8 government points, I could get some more food for our homeland. Yeah, let's get some more food. It's not a lot, but it will speed up our city growth. And it's not exactly growing super fast right now. I think we just killed that guy. Yep. Okay. So we'll just start a city. Maybe even literally right here. Or here. No, I think I like this spot better. There's more forest nearby. And we have two tiles with wheat. I like this spot. That's good. Okay, let's maybe scout a little bit over here. Uh, or we could go and destroy this barbarian camp. Yeah, yeah. I need to go and destroy the barbarian camps. Instead of using my army to scout. Obviously. Obviously. Mount Fuji, alright. Unfortunately, uh, these are not like natural wonders in civilization. They don't really do anything. You get some bonuses for discovering them. But they don't really like do anything like they do in civilization. Okay, workers. Now we can uh, move on to Age of Bronze. I could finish the two remaining techs, but it's generally more efficient to finish them later. Because you will be getting more knowledge per turn later on. And they will finish the research much faster. So this will establish new vassalized territory. There. London. And kill the barbarian. Okay, got it. Okay. And by the way, vassals in general are very strong in this game. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but they are really, really strong. You can get some insane bonuses from vassals in this game. I would say they might be a little bit too strong even. But yeah. Okay, Paris. Good to know. And another border. Alright then. Yep, you have met another nation. Two nations even. Good to know. What's this? Yeah, we're losing one gold right now. There's not much diplomacy to do at the moment. I can only propose open borders or declare hostilities. You can't actually negotiate until you send an envoy. And obviously we don't know what that is just yet, so we cannot do that. Let's get rid of this barbarian camp. And then the one to the south. Because otherwise 
they will probably keep bothering us. Okay, tropical rainforest. Go on. We can still take a look around a little bit. But not too far. Yeah, not too far. Okay. And that's a tribal village or what? Yeah, I think it is. Tribal camp. A plus an exploration experience spawn scout cavalry. Okay, let's get exploration experience. Spawn a scout in our capital instead. And he could go directly west, perhaps. Yep. That is quite a few scouts already. Okay, yep, more barbarians. And another nation. The AI definitely lacks personality. Due to the fact every nation is basically the same. Nobody has an actual leader. So you could say that doesn't like directly affect the gameplay. But it does affect like the overall feeling of the game. So I don't like the way it's handled in here. Again, that's obviously just my opinion. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people will feel the same exact way. Okay, so Russia is in this direction. We need 16, we need 22 more points to get another settler, okay. We don't want another settler ASAP. Grab as much land as we can. Yeah, so this is guarded, I'm not attacking that. There are quite a few barbarian camps in the area. I might need more units to handle them. Yeah, I think I might need more units. How's Cardiff doing? Five more turns to finish that dolmen, okay. Sounds good. That's just one unit attacking us. Yeah, the archer counters them pretty nicely. But we might want to heal ourselves a bit. Yeah, let's just heal a little bit at least. Get rid of this barbarian camp. It will probably take more than one turn. Uh, okay. And yeah, but there's another guy coming. Can you guys just give it up? It's just one dude, so the city militia can probably handle him. Probably. Oh yeah, and we can get some volunteers. Let's grab ourselves a warband then. Yeah, they volunteered when they weren't looking, am I right? Yep. Uh, will we win this one? We're roughly the same strength. So, yeah, okay. Kind of, sort of, but not really. Nobody really won that one. In fact, I should probably pack up. Yeah, and yeah, another one coming. Yeah, we're being harassed a lot by barbarians. Okay, we survived. So I can finish this guy off, but then we have yet another one coming. And I really want to get rid of this barbarian camp. We have at least three barbarian camps in our general area. There we go, we got it. That's one down. Thousands to go, am I right? A plus 10 war for experience, plus 10 government. That's kind of a tough one, but I do want another settler ASAP, so I'll take government. Okay, let's finish him off. I'll probably be heavily wounded, but maybe not. Well, yeah, I'm like almost dead, but at least he's dead too. Okay. Now, that's a scout, but he can still do a little bit of fighting. You guys keep healing. And keep exploring. Yep, just heal. East. Yeah, no, I don't really want to attack barbarians here. Not with a half-dead scout. Okay, let's stay away from this dude. Then we can merge all these units into a single army and attack him. Okay, he attacked the militia. And uh, did we just enter Age of Bronze? Wait, what's going on? Yeah, we did, okay. So this unlocks national spirits, which is where like the uniqueness comes from, not the actual nation you pick at the start of the game. Vassals will integrate two times faster during the Age of Bronze. Barbarian warlords may appear. Innovation and chaos events may appear. And the trade and diplomatic envoys are available. So that's how you do like more advanced diplomacy with envoys. 
Okay, yep, he's attacking the militia, that's fine. Now we can finish him off. Yeah, just use all these guys in a single army and finish him off. There. And he's dead. Alright. So, we got one barbarian camp here. And there was one to the north, right here. And there's probably one to the west somewhere. But yeah, maybe we should heal ourselves first. Keep exploring. Maybe like east-ish. Sounds good. How's our production? And this is going back to something I said about UI. It would be nice if the city banner gave you more information. It's a missed opportunity to have more information on the city banner. Okay, three turns to finish the dolmen. Like the whole city UI in general definitely could have been better. From my point of view at least. So we can explore this area to the east. And we can also go west. Alright. So back into our territory we heal up a little bit. And then we go destroy more barbarian camps. We explored the road already. Alright, so guard. Alright, Age of Bronze. Now we can pick our next research. First, let's move. Oh, we have more barbarians. I guess I'm not surprised. Well, I mean, I only have one dude here. But maybe he can handle this. Yeah, maybe not. I think he might need some help over there. Yeah, he's gonna need some help, alright? Help is coming! It's on the way. Okay, so... Wait, can we get a settler yet? Yes, we can get a... No, not yet. Oh yeah, it's still on cooldown for four more turns. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll wait four more turns. Okay, so now, uh, this is something that was already in the demo, available during the Steam Next Fest. It's one of the more interesting mechanics in this game, the different ages. So if we discover one more landmark, we'll be able to enter Age of Heroes instead of the regular Age of Iron. So that would be nice. Maybe we can get one more, but I need to actually find one more. We'll see about that. Okay, so envoys are unlocked, I think, right here. Yep, with officials. We could get that. We could unlock some more improvements. We could unlock mining. And let's get community then. Okay, uh, we have 30, right. So I should have used those a bit earlier. I think the best I can do right now is get a pasture right here on the ship. So we can actually do that. That's 16 points. There we go. And I still have 14 points left. Now the clay pit is pretty good for production. But, I mean, I can still get it on this grassland, for example. So that is an option. Okay, yeah. Let's grab a clay pit right here. Why not? Now we can take a look. Yeah, so now we want to work that. And that... Uh, will give us clay, which is consumed for production and improvement points. So this is a really good improvement early on. Yeah, one dot here and one dot on the pasture. Sounds good. And the dolmen will be done in one turn. And now we can choose our national spirit. So this is, again, where like the uniqueness comes from. And if you pick one that hasn't been picked yet, you will get a bonus. So, for example, in this case, we'll get 20 warfare experience as a bonus because it hasn't been picked yet i do quite like raiders actually this is a good one if you go to war which i don't know if i'll be doing but it is definitely a good one yeah i'm going with raiders and you might see quite a lot of people pick raiders because to be totally honest this is probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest, national spirit in Age 2. As of this recording, at least. So, yeah, we're going with Raiders, alright? It does mean I will not get the free 20 points, but honestly, that doesn't really matter that much. Not really. 
having raiders is definitely a bigger deal than the 23 points. Alright, we need to deal with this stupid barbarian over here. Yep, okay, he actually killed me. Which is uh, not great, but alright. We'll send another dude to help out. And since I picked raiders, I'll probably want to actively go to war. Obviously not yet, because I'm not ready to do that yet. But once we get a decent number of units. Uh, okay, well, this dude is literally almost dead. So is the Barbarian. So I might or might not win this. Let's find out. Will we win? Okay, yeah, we won. Okay. He's also almost dead, but we actually won. Alright. And there were more Barbarians here. We still got this camp. And I would like to get rid of it. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. We got interrupted earlier as I was fighting them. So I'd like to go back and actually finish the job. Yeah, I might get killed here. Let's move away from that barbarian. That's a scout, so he'll keep doing his job. Alright, we finished the dolmen. Now we could get a meeting hall for some diplomacy experience. Uh, we could get the work camp for production and engineering experience. We could get an encampment for warfare. Yep, let's go with that. And now, we still need to wait three more turns to spawn a settler. Okay, well, I guess we'll wait. And now, we want to save up 25 points for raider band, right here. That way we'll spawn two raider bands. I don't think I want that ace up. And they have more barbarians coming. This guy is a bit stronger. Oh, this is a barbarian warlord. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's back up and join up with the other dude. Yeah, that warlord is pretty strong. He's almost as strong as three of my units combined. So, <laughs> that's not great. I'm not thrilled about that. Can I go past here safely? I think so. I should be able to. Okay, culture power. I can create a town for London. So that might actually be best right now. Get a town for London. Over here-ish. Okay, yeah. Let's get a town for London. Sounds good. Will he attack us? Yep, he will. And, okay, another barbarian warlord. What's with all these barbarians? That's a bit too much. Okay, yeah, that's actually a little bit too much. Wow, he's wrecking my militia. That is a bit too much. We almost killed this one. Okay. I need the raiders. Oh, there we go. Now we can actually get the raiders. Okay, so let's spawn the two raider bands. There. Okay. So these guys can handle it. They are quite a bit stronger. They can handle the Barbarian Warlord over here. Let's go. Maybe not in one attack. Hey, Okay, almost. He almost died. He literally almost died. He has like a sliver of health left. Okay, I might lose one unit here if I attack with everything. But we need the damage. Okay, he's dead. Our archer killed him. Works for me. I really need to get rid of that barbarian camp. But that's why we're going in this general direction, okay? We are literally going in that direction. Let's keep scouting. Okay, we got away from the barbarians, but now we got more barbarians. There are a lot of barbarians in this game, man. And they can actually be pretty annoying. We have met another nation. He's still attacking. Yep, he is. Go on then. There, okay, he's dead. Now we need to heal up our raiders. Yeah, they lost half of their health. So just stay here and heal up. 
I should probably heal these guys up before attacking. Oh yeah, okay, even more barbarians. Let's actually just back up. I still want to explore to the west though, but without getting my scout killed, preferably. I don't know if we're going to find another landmark. That might not happen. I will have to get lucky to actually find another landmark. Okay, that looks like a tribal uh, camp. We can get that. Yeah, I'm trying to find another landmark, but... Well, it's basically RNG. We might find one, we might not. We still have time. We just need to do it by the time we finish the current age. But the longer it takes, the less likely it is. Because we need to be the first ones to actually discover it. And we are competing with the AI. Even more barbarians. Okay, this is another barbarian warlord. This is actually a little bit too much. Okay, now we killed that one. Maybe that wasn't a warlord. Alright. Okay, now we can get a settler. So let's do that. We'll grab a settler. And probably go northeast. That's what I'm thinking. However, that's going to be the end of this video. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.